What's up, everyone? Thank you for tuning in and welcome back to another episode of the Crypto Remora. We come to you every week and talk all things crypto to keep you guys up to date, informed, entertained, but more importantly, ahead of the markets. That's what we're here for. My name is Wes and I am joined with, as always, the one and only Sierra Crypto. What's up, Sierra? How you doing, man? Good, man. How you doing? Doing good, brother. Guys, if this is your first time checking us out, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Make sure you hit the like button and share with as many people as possible. That's the number one way you can help support this channel and get the content out there, man. We appreciate you guys for being here. And today, <clears throat> we are talking about yield farming and providing liquidity. This is the num this is a big question that we've had a lot of people ask us about. And uh and we understand that, man, cuz when we first got in, <clears throat> we didn't really understand it either. And and it is good to have somebody guide you and show you these things and that's what that's what we want to do so um yeah sierra what are we doing today man what are we what are we going over today all right so uh we're, we're bringing you guys back to where we first started we first started on solana Deja believe vu. it or not yeah. even though even though we're arbonauts for life and we are <clears throat> um to be honest with you as far as competing with ethereum i'm not one of these solana maxis or solana's right. gonna overthrow it there i don't eh, I, I don't want no parts of that fight okay <laughs> right i like them both so yeah. i will use them both yeah. so let's just go with that assumption first of all second of all um it is it's like deja vu we're going all the way back yeah, before the arms from airdrop this, this is, is where we were at why, so, why solana dude why solana why use solana why does it attract a lot of new users so I, I'm gonna tell you the the biggest reason that I became a fan of Sol I be instantly became a fan after the first time I used it. I, I used Radium and I said, okay, I don't. This is it. I found my home. Yeah. Like, so I think it's because it's so cheap. It's beyond yeah. less than a quarter of a cent. It's it's so small that it's not even a quarter of a cent. It's like zero point zero 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 three per yeah. trade. Yep. So, so as far as your fees go, you could sit here all day, every day, for a year Pennies. and trade, and, and it would be like a couple <sighs> bucks. So Pennies. the trading fees are ridiculously slow. Yeah. Um, the network is is fast when it's running. I know it's everyone jokes around. Oh, Solana went down. I get it. I've okay. never had that issue though. Every time I've used Solana, I have never had the network crash on me, man. I've had it down a couple times. When I've I was never in had some it, farms. man. So um, I agree, man. I think Solana is great. Um, what what platform are we using today to to yield farm and pro provide liquidity? Okay, so we're going to be using uh, Radium R A Y D I U M, okay. and you know. Uh, just, you know, you guys be careful, be smart. You know, if, you, if you're out of jurisdiction to be trading, don't trade. You know, if you, yep. if it's money you can't afford to lose, don't, don't do it. Right. We're playing around with 25 bucks right now on this video. That's all we're using. Um, five of that is going to be dedicated towards gas, which we're not even, you're, you're going to see, we're not even going to use that. Yeah. That's going <laughs> to, but, uh, 20 of it's going to be for our liquidity pool. So, uh, radium. Is it the app on top of Solana? And that's what we're going to use to enter our liquidity pool. Mm -hmm. So if you're not familiar with the liquidity pool, what it is, it's very, it's very simple as terms. It's a big pile of money that a bunch of people put assets in. Yep. But they don't just throw in any random assets. The liquidity pools are designed to be specific assets. So in other words, if you have Bitcoin, you have Ethereum. Yeah. All right. Or I'm sorry, if you have one or the other and you want to trade for the other, mm -hmm. you have to go somewhere where there's a market for that. You can't just say, oh, I got a, I want some Bitcoin. I have Ethereum, but I want right. Bitcoin. You have to go. Chances are, if you're swapping, even on a centralized exchange sometimes, if you're swapping one token for another, chances are you're doing it from someone else's liquidity pool. Mm -hmm. 
there's somewhere some somebody is providing, providing those tokens so that you can make that trade possible. Right. Now, the reward for for your providing liquidity, you get a small percentage of every single trade that happens in that pool. Yep. So you say, why do I want to get in a pool? That's why. Because now you don't have to worry about <clears throat> trades. Or you know day trading and losing like I do sometimes. We're not gonna. That's another video. But if you, if you're not the best trader, who cares? Yeah. If you're yield farming, if you're liquidity providing, you're just earning small percentages every time someone else trades. Let them make the mistakes, right? right. So we're gonna do it with twenty. I'm sorry, with twenty bucks, which means the only rule in the yield farming and liquidity pools you have to learn. Is they have to be equal amounts. 50, 50. So you can't put nine dollars and ninety nine cents of Ethereum and ten dollars of Bitcoin. They won't let you. The pool won't let you. It'll say no. Yeah. You either have to bring that one up to ten or bring that one down to nine nine nine. Because that's the trading pair, right? So if I was that's doing USDC and ETH, I would have yes. to provide equal amounts of both, right? Exactly. Okay. Which means gotcha. you would which means you would have to have both assets in your wallet. Yeah. Now if you don't have Solana in your wallet yet, go watch a YouTube video. There's a million of them out there on mm -hmm. how to buy Solana yep. and send it to your Phantom wallet. We're not going to tell you how to do that on this. It's very easy. Get over that first hump. Come back and watch this. I'm assuming you have $25 worth of Solana in your wallet right now. Yep. And you're looking at Crypto More going, what do I do? How do I mm -hmm. get into a liquidity pool? This Let's is do the this. starting point. Yep. So this is what you do. You go to your wallet. Go up to your Phantom wallet, okay? The very first thing you're going to see, you say, oh, I got $26, whatever it is, 25 26 bucks worth of Solana. Yeah. Beautiful. So what do we want to do? We want to get into a liquidity pool to provide liquidity on a pair. And make yield. Generate and make some yield. yield. Yep. So what is a farm then, right? The farm, and before I to give you the how-to, I'm breaking this down too. Yeah. All a farm is, to keep it simple, is... After you provide liquidity, let's say $10 of Bitcoin, $10 mm -hmm. of ETH, after you provide that liquidity, the liquidity pool gives you a receipt and says, here, you provided liquidity. Now you take that receipt or the proof that you provided liquidity and you go over to the farm and you say, here, here's my proof. And you stake, stake that, that proof. Mm -hmm. And that's how you're in a farm. So really, if you're in a farm, you had to be in a liquidity pool first. So there's a mm -hmm. step... There's a step process to it where you do provide liquidity first and then you go into the farms. Yep. But you kind of have to look at which farms you want to get into first because then you know how to go backwards and get into the liquidity pool that yep. you want. <clears throat> so before we jump into any random pool or any random farm, let's go to the farms tab and let's see what, what they what have we got. right now. Let's see. So we got Radium USDC and that's uh, total APR. Total percentage return rate is 11.31%. Mm -hmm. That ain't too shabby. Um, uh, radium Solana, we've got 7.6%. And Radium USDT, we've got 9.49%. So, from those numbers, I say Radium USDC pays out the nicest reward. It's got the most uh, total value locked. So to me, I'm going to say let's go with Radium USDC. That's the farm I want to get in. How yep. about you? No, I mean, it looks good, man. I want to, because I'm up at the Radium tab, and then I clicked yeah. on Fusion, and then I just went to Ecosystem, and there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of other ones, man. Why wouldn't I choose the one that has um, 1,000, you know, 1,957% returns? Why wouldn't I choose that one? Okay, so Ninja and Soul. Is a is one you see? Go to the ecosystem tab. Okay. And scroll down about 10, 15 ones. You'll see Ninja Soul. Right. Ninja Soul coin. One thousand and two. Yeah, one thousand and twenty four percent. Why wouldn't I choose that one over the ones you were just talking about? Yeah, that's a beautiful question. Now you see right next to that total APR. Uh -huh. That's the percentage return. You see TVL. Yeah. That means total value locked, uh -huh. and if you look at that number, it says eight hundred and eighty-seven dollars. Whoa, that's so, a lot of money. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so, so for eight hundred and eighty-seven dollars that Jimmy borrowed from his mom uh -huh. to open Ninja Soul Pool, 
let's say maybe 800 of that is Jimmy's money. Right. And two other idiots <laughs> came in and put in $40 into that pool. Right. So now when Jimmy sees, oh, hey, two other idiots yeah. came in and put $47. He made 47 bucks. He can close that whole pool out um, and take your 47 bucks, bucks, put his 800 back in his pocket. So you have got to be very careful. Got to be careful, guys. Look at the TVL farmer. for sure. Yeah. Look at your total <clears throat> value lock. That tells you how much money is actually yeah. in the pool. And even if that that number's high, that could still be a whale on it the could, other man. side. It could. Right? Got to be so, careful. So to be safe safer we're going into a very trusted radium farm which is radium usdc yep. it's a trusted token it you know yeah it's a trusted token you don't want to just jump into mad bear soul no dude stay away from that stay away Go from the trusted high, ones yeah so that's the farm we want to get in. So okay. now we say, oh, okay, now we could go back to the, the pools tab. But it's actually, if you click on Radium USDC, mm -hmm. it brings it up for you. Add liquidity right here. Yeah. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to hit add liquidity. And it'll bring up the tab. It'll say, oh, you got to add Radium and you got to add USDC. But we're not going to do that yet because we have, remember, we still didn't swap out our Solana yet. Okay. So we we know we have to have $10 of radium and $10 of USDC because that's the rules. That's yep. the way the liquidity pool works. So what we need to do, we see we got 26 bucks of Solana in our wallet. We're going to go to our wallet. Go to the arrows. There's two arrows at the bottom. We're going to click that. Boom. It brings up a swapper in your own wallet. So it says up top we've got 1.34 whatever Solana and we've got this much USDC. So what do we want to do? We want to figure out that we need $10 of USDC and $10 of radium, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the easiest way to do that is to figure out how much Solana is worth $10 or how much Solana does it take to equal $10 USDC. If you're not good at math, if you don't have a calculator in front of you, use your wallet. This is a cool trick. I'm going to show you. So hit the reverse button, this little two arrows in the middle. Hit the reverse, and now all of a sudden it puts up USDC at the top. Type in $10. Type in 10 and it'll calculate it for you. Even though it says I don't have it in there, it'll calculate. So $10 is roughly 0 0.50 of a Solana. Yeah. So now we're just going to hit the reverse button again. And boom. It says 0.50672 of a Solana equals $9.82. We want to get it up to an even 10 bucks for the for the farm. So we're going to go 0.51. See if that's okay. That brings us to $10.02. We're going to hit review swap. So now we're taking the Solana and we're buying $10 worth of USDC with it. That's our first half of the pair. But we still need to get $10 worth of radium. So we have to go back to the wallet. Go back to the swapper in the wallet. And now we want to do Solana for radium. Okay. So again, we could do our little trick again if we want. We could say if we're swapping $10 for radium, we just change the token on the bottom from... Um, There's a max and a half button right there too, man. If you yeah, have, that's, that's if helpful you swap too. Your soul, yeah, if you swap your soul and then just hit max or half too yeah that's a that's a really good shortcut now we figured out ten dollars usdc gives us about 59 radium mm. so what we're going to do but we're not swapping the usdc we just swapped we're going to swap the solana we have left in our wallet and we're going to swap um 0 0.5 0 0.51 of a solana will give us about 59 radium we're going to hit okay and swap so now all we did was we took our Solana and we traded it we had $25 worth of Solana we're keeping five bucks for gas so that leaves us with 10 of radium and 10 bucks of USDC now we have that in our wallet now we can go provide liquidity and get our token get our receipt so if you notice we're back on make sure you're on the liquidity tab um, you'll see it highlighted either swap or liquidity or you can go if you get lost go back over to the farms tab find your farm again radium usdc click on it hit add liquidity boom once you hit that 
and this is another section where Wes was talking about max in half. Let's say you change your mind. I don't want to do $10 and $10. I want to do five and five. Then you can hit uh, half and it'll automatically put half of your radium and half of your USDC. It does all the math for you, which is awesome. But we're not going to do that. We're going to do 10 and 10. So we're going to go maximum. So you got to check to make sure it's it's even evenly distributed see because even though we did ten dollars and ten dollars i'm slightly over it says in radium i have 1191 usdc i says it says 1193 your numbers could be off slightly mine could be off slightly because of the video um but if you see that one balance is insufficient it tells you at the bottom insufficient usdc balance which means oh okay I don't have quite enough USDC to equal the amount of radium that I have because I already had a couple bucks of radium in my wallet see so now what you can do to fix that problem is go to the one that has um, less so for me it's my USDC has less value so I'm gonna hit max on that as soon as I hit max it the add liquidity button gets unhighlighted because it's perfectly even now. We have ten dollars and one cent, ten dollars and one cent on this side. They're they're equally matched, so it's going to allow me to add the liquidity. Do you have any questions about this part, Wes? Because I want to make sure I'm explaining this right. <clears throat> no, I mean I think that's uh, pretty well explained, man. It's um, you know you want to provide equal amounts of uh, both tokens. For sure. Yeah, it's just more so the math element. Like when it when when it says, "Oh, it's insufficient funds." Don't freak out if you get that. Just try to remember in your head. If you have, you're like, "Well, I thought I have the exact amount on each." Well, you might be off by one penny, and if you're off by one little penny, you have just to adjust the, it. A back button on one of them. Yeah. Right. Just, so just hit max on the other one. Play around with it a little bit. You know, start off with five bucks each. You know, do it if you're nervous. Now we'll hit add liquidity. And after we do that, Phantom Wallet's going to open up. It's going to ask us if we want to confirm. We hit confirm. So if you're following us, just to recap, we did Solana, 25 bucks. We took 10 bucks radium, 10 bucks USDC. We just put it into a liquidity pool. We just confirmed it. Yep. Now we have what's called an LP token. So our LP token is that will be receipt. showed That's that right receipt. below it. It says your liquidity, radium USDC. If you, uh, it's a little star thing. It says if you staked your LP tokens in a farm, unstake them to see them here. So they're not in the farm yet. They're just in this liquidity pool. It's just showing us your share. We're earning uh, less than 0.01% of the pool. Your liquidity, we have 5.81 or so liquidity pool tokens. And yeah, that's what we have in there. Now, um, if we want to go to back to the farm tab it says now it says start farming because before it said add liquidity now it says start farming so it's saying okay you already added li the, your liquidity it knows we have liquidity pool token so now when we click start farming it says balance 5.81 that's our liquidity pool tokens so the even though it's 10 bucks and 10 bucks the liquidity pool token, they gave us five liquidity pool tokens. For whatever reason, I know that number might be a little confusing, but just think of that number as your receipt. That's your receipt. You know, if you get a receipt at McDonald's, they have a barcode number and a customer number, right? That's what your LP number is. Just a unique identifier of, of your liquidity. So we're going to hit balance. We're going to do all of it, which is $20.03. Stake LP. It's going to ask us to confirm in the wallet. And once we confirm, it's basically saying, hey, we got your LP token. You're going to put you in this farm. You're going to earn 10.75%. Um, and yeah, so we're in there. So it says Radium USDC, $20.03. And um, we're earning 10.75% interest on that. And it looks like that's it. So that's that's how you get into a liquidity pool and then you take your receipt from the liquidity pool and you put it in a farm okay so there's other pools on here there's other farms on here but I would start off with that one just to be easy just to get comfortable with it like I said play around with the numbers 
Um, and don't get frustrated if you if the math thing throws you off a little bit. It did with me in the beginning, but um, it's it's pretty fun once you do this because now you say, oh well, look, we got some leftover in our wallet. We got what do we got? We got uh. What do we have? 11 radium left over in the wallet because there's leftover from the trading, right? What are you going to so do with that? We're going to stake it. We'll go over to the staking <laughs> tab. So go to staking, <clears throat> click on radium, and you can see I've already got some radium being staked. I'm going to hit the stake button. Uh, there's 11. I'm going to select 11 of my radium, which comes out to $1.91. <clears throat> We're going to hit stake ray. And you can see how many transactions we've done. We've done about five or six transactions already. How and much? We haven't. We haven't even touched. We haven't even touched the extra five bucks. Yeah, yeah. It takes <laughs> we just nothing, man. Solana is very cheap, and I feel like that's cheap. why a lot of people start off on that too, man. It's easy to use. It's cheap, like. You know, it's fun too. The colors are great. It really I mean, is, dude. We had a dude. I can't even tell you like when me and Sierra first started off on Solana. It was so much fun, dude. And I, I have so many like worthless NFTs in my fan wallet because it was exciting. It was an exciting time, man. And we made a lot of money too, man. Like we did good. We made when some we good money, this. dude, on, on radium, dude. We we did good. We caught a couple yeah, of those right, runs did. on uh, Nirvana token and a couple other. Tokens Bro, we're just scratching out. the surface here. Like, go back and watch, you know, a couple other videos. Like, we, we're just scratching the surface. Accelerator? Well, I haven't seen a new project pop up on Accelerator in a long time, dude. Ever since the Terra Luna crash. There hasn't been not one project pop up here. Yeah, when the Hawk's bull run site. starts, when the bull run kicks off, there's going to be so many projects coming on here and, and launching on Solana, man. You can make a lot of money. So absolutely yeah. well i hope i hope that helped you if you, if anyone's out there wanting to get on DeFi and just yeah. doesn't have the courage yet you feel like you don't really understand what a liquidity pool is just think of it as an empty swimming pool with people around it throwing money into it yeah. that's all it is it's 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 a big pool of money yeah okay think but about donald specific. what was it uncle duck donald duck oh no what was the yeah, yeah, Uncle Scrooge. Tales. Uncle Scrooge. Yeah, DuckTales. Yeah, yeah, swimming in the little, you know, the the pool of coins. That's, that's yes. you. That's you. That's that's a liquidity pool. Now, liquidity the only difference pool. is instead of gold coins, <clears throat> it's spe very specific assets. In this case, it's <clears throat> radium and USDC. And, um, yeah, but I hope that that helped you guys out there. Look, and guys, if y'all have any questions, man, we are here for the community. Like, if anybody has any questions, reach out to us, man. We will... We'll respond, man. We'll help anybody out, guys. Um, we're here for you, and you know we know y'all are going to be here for us, man. It's a, it's a mutual relationship here, um, and we appreciate the hell out of every single one of you that come on here and support us, man. So any questions, reach out, let us know. We'll respond and um, and clear anything up that you guys may have. So, Siri, anything else you want to add before we jump off? That's it, man. I just want to say thank you to you guys. You know, we, we are really trying to, you know, yeah. me and Wes, this is about the third time we, we redid this video yeah. because I felt like I wasn't explaining things right. So if you guys are seeing, like, I want to be a better teacher. So yeah. to me, it's important that I explain myself better. Or if there's things I'm leaving out, let us know. Make a comment on YouTube. Go on X. Go yeah, on Twitter. let us know, man. DM and, us, and dude. Like, we're yeah, here. We want comment, to talk. Comments will get um, responded to. I mean, like, yeah. so if you guys are like, "Yo, I got a question. What do you think about this token?" Yeah, like, we're we're hungry for that. We're Absolutely, ready for more dude. engagement. So, we want nothing more than that. Like, please reach out to us, man. Um, <clears throat> yeah, we're gonna be here for a while, man, and and we hope that you guys can grow with us. And and uh, yeah, we we appreciate the hell out of all of you, man, that are supporting us. All three of you guys, man. Like, we. Appreciate no seriously man um yeah anything that's else, a man? We good? that's 183 actually <laughs> 183 man we just hit 183 subs man and we appreciate that's every it. single last one of you that's it that's it man all right guys make sure you subscribe make sure you hit the like make sure you share man and we appreciate the hell all of y'all we love you guys much love to the Arvinites. much love to you guys till next time peace out